Liberal leader Stefan Dion this week met with uh, U.S. military leaders acting for Omar Qatar and a, a Canadian citizen held in jail in Guantanamo Bay. Now, Mr. Qatar is 15 years old when he was arrested. He is now 21 and is still in the same prison. Are the American uh, military denying basic human rights by stalling his case, or are they simply waiting for him to reach adult status and age? Well, I've met with uh, his lawyers as well. I was part of uh, the group at the Canadian Bar Association that met with Mr. Cotter's American attorneys. And when the Canadian Bar Association went publicly on record uh, with respect to uh, asking uh, that Mr. Cotter's rights uh, be uh, protected, I ought to say as well that I filed a brief in on his behalf. I'm before the American courts as well with regard to that brief. I believe there's been a uh, systematic denial of his uh, fundamental uh, due process uh, uh, rights uh, throughout uh, his uh, confinement thus far. It includes also the conditions of confinement. It includes uh, due process uh, guarantees with regard to right at the council. It includes the fact that uh, uh, he has been, in effect, a, a uh, <coughs> uh, he was 15 years of age and was uh, denied uh, those rights uh, You know, as a child who didn't even have an appreciation of the allegations uh, uh, against him uh, as well. Uh, and so we have, uh, as I say, filed an amicus brief uh, before the American courts. Uh, we're there now, and uh, uh, we are very much engaged uh, in this issue. Should the Prime Minister Harper demand that Omar Khadr be transferred uh, to the United States away from Guantanamo Bay and, and tried in uh, the States? Well, uh, Mr. Khadr is at this point the only uh, person who's there um, that, uh, you know, all the other countries have had their uh, <coughs> nationals uh, uh, released and returned to their uh, country. Uh, Mr. Cotter is the only one uh, who is still confined and has not had the benefit of all those uh, due process uh, guarantees. And so either he should have the right to a fair hearing and a fair trial, or he should be returned uh, to Canada, uh, where the due process uh, guarantees can be secured uh, for him here. As Mr. Cotter is described by the U.S. military as a child soldier victim, why would he be denied Geneva Convention protection that is given to others that are involved in armed conflicts? Well, the whole uh, saga with regard to Guantanamo Bay has been one uh, with regard to a series of uh, breaches, uh, even of the Geneva uh, Convention, or lack of application of the Geneva uh, Convention, and his uh, particular case, as I say, uh, being that of a uh, child at the time of the initial uh, confinement uh, has had additional uh, breaches and, and, and violations. So I think that this whole case has been one enmeshed uh, with a series of breaches that we have tried to set forth uh, in our brief and I trust that the, the court will, as I say, give him a fair hearing. And if that is not possible, he should be sent back to Canada. What should be done about Guantanamo Bay having 340 detainees, uh, which many have been not been charged? Well, I've said uh, before that, and will repeat again, Guantanamo Bay should be shut down. Uh, that has not been a facility uh, which has provided uh, due process. The conditions of confinement have not been those uh, that have been in accordance with the minimum uh, requirements under international human rights and uh, humanitarian law. I think whatever purpose it might have initially had, it is uh, far served uh, and that purpose, and at this point uh, should be closed down. Does a child uh, like Mr. Qatar at the age of uh, 15 years when he was arrested, does he have fully have uh, a fully developed mental capacity to understand the real implications of war and violence? Well, I don't think um, the, his lawyers who've been with him have felt that he's not had that capacity and does not have it now. And uh, this is a situation uh, which uh, uh, did not provide him the protections uh, when he was young and is not providing him the protections uh, at this point in time. And so the best thing that could be done, frankly, with Mr. Cotter is, number one, provide him with the due process guarantees that he's entitled to. If you can't do that, send him back to Canada. We'll give him the due process guarantees. Uh, considering Guantanamo Bay, uh, what kind of democracy would allow such a facility to operate? Is the American administration speaking out of both sides of their mouth? Well, I think, as I say, the, the, whatever initial 
uh, bases there might have been for uh, Guantanamo Bay as an initial, what I would have thought was a temporary uh, detention facility for security purposes in the immediate aftermath of 9-11 uh, and the like when Americans had a particular you know, security uh, apprehension. Uh, I'm not saying that, 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 that uh, security, those security concerns are unfounded. I'm saying that Guantanamo Bay and the manner in which uh, that detention facility developed, both in terms of conditions of confinement and in terms of uh, lack of uh, due process guarantees for those detained there, has, in my view, uh, outlived its uh, purpose and uh, at this point should be closed down. Mm -hmm.